Say Orient Express and you've said it all. Not only describing the world's most luxurious boxcars, but the sort of people who can afford to shell out a small fortune to ride in them. You don't have passengers on this sort of journey, you have clientele. And each of them is paying about $1,000 for the privilege of being wrapped up in one of these glorified candy boxes for 23 hours. This is not the original Orient Express. It died in 1977, but a revival with a difference. It won't be going from London to the Orient twice a week, but to Venice. Yet for most of those making today's inaugural run, it was a chance to travel back in time and a first-class way of getting there. On the road, please. A trainload of titled Europeans and wealthy Americans, characters right out of an Agatha Christie thriller who could have saved both time and money by flying to Venice, but who wouldn't have much of a journey to talk about once they got there. Bob Dyke, ABC News, London.